You think I believe that Daniel White is helping you out of kindness? Of course not. He's helping me out because I gave him the project in Maple Plaza. Are you crazy? Do you know how important that project is? It's worth millions. You knew that our company didn't have the funds to manage it. And yet you still bid for it and asked me to handle it. You set me up to fail. How can you say that? I'm your aunt. I wanted you to learn and grow from that project. Well, how nice of you. Well, since it's my project, I'll call the shots. Hey, look at that. I've got a better husband and someone to help me out on this tricky project. Thank you, Aunt Grace and your daughter. What the hell were you thinking? You got married without even telling me? I had to find out my own son got married through the news. The Allen family has both pedigree and wealth. Plus, I got the Maple Plaza project from Rachel. What more could you want? Maybe I would have liked to have attended my own son's wedding. Oh, now you want to play the loving father who cares about his son, huh? A little late for that, don't you think? Just be happy for me, Dad. I finally got the girl of my dreams. I also know that you have tension with your aunt. It won't be long before she finds out that we're not actually legally married. She could stir up trouble. So... What brings you here? Take a guess. I'd rather we cut to the chase. Oh, sweet honey buns. Don't be so grouchy. <clears throat> okay, fine. So, your company alone doesn't have enough funds to handle the big project at Maple Plaza. And that's why you chose to work with me. Go on. Well, I also know that you have tension with your aunt. It won't be long before she finds out that we're not actually legally married. She could stir up trouble. So... Take a look. Speak to your lawyer if you have any concerns. A marriage agreement. What are you up to? I say we get married for real. I won't be seeing other people while we're married. If we're putting on an act, it better be believable. Okay, I understand the point of signing an agreement for a fake marriage, but what's the point of actually getting a marriage certificate? <sighs> the point is, people know we're married. And the certificate protects most of my legal rights. Say, if you're cheating on me, I can get a handsome compensation. Cheat on you? That's not the way to put it. But I won't be seeing other people while we're married. That's good to hear, but I can't take your word for it. I'd rather have it on paper. What about this one? Living together? Well. If we're putting on an act, it better be believable. Plus, I'm also under a lot of pressure from my company. If people find out that this is fake, my stock prices will drop. Fine, I'll sign it. There. Now what? Now, go pack your stuff. Unless you wanna practice being husband and wife first. Who's coming to find you this late at night? You ran away on our wedding day, so I replaced the groom. 
That sounds fair to me. Which I clearly told you when I called to reschedule the wedding, not cancel it. Anything you want to say to me? I'm sure you've heard everything already. I want to hear it from you. About what? You ran away on our wedding day, so I replaced the groom. That sounds fair to me. Rachel, I clearly told you when I called to reschedule the wedding, not cancel it. How dare you tell me to reschedule it? You were the one that didn't show up. You were the one that went to go see your ex and made it on the news. And mind you, I didn't cancel the wedding. I had my reasons. How could you do this to me? You love me. You're supposed to marry me. Put your hands off my wife. Never do that again. See what happens next time. Rachel, this is the kind of man that you pick over me. Matthew Gordon, you had your chance and you blew it. Now get lost. You okay? You moving in with me first thing in the morning, okay? I can't have that asshole coming to your place again. Hey, what are you doing? What's that? Breakfast. <laughs> it's breakfast. I made too much. I'll have it for lunch if you don't want it. Fine, I'll try some. Hey, what are you doing? I blocked her. Out of sight, out of mind. Don't let her get to you. Ready, Mrs. White? I can move in another time if you're busy today. You don't want to move in with me? Maybe you're waiting on Matthew to visit you again? 